Weather woes, market volatility, number of risks in the farm sector, and that's why many producers look to specialty risk insurance for guidance on navigating this market. Our friend Kevin Charleston joins us now alongside Peter Roberts for an industry update. Kevin, thank you so much for being here again. You know, I said, where in the world is Kevin? I feel like, uh, you know, you're always traveling. Right now, it looks like you're stuck in an airport. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. We're here in Laramie on our way to Cheyenne. All right. Well, hopefully you'll get to Cheyenne. So I know that you're always traveling. So give us a little insight on how cattle prices right now increases, cattle price increases, affecting insurance policies. Well, you know, to go back just a little step farther back, about three years ago, several of the uh, livestock insurance markets left the industry in the U.S. And so uh, we started working with Howden in the U.K. and they helped us place some coverage. And, and as the market has changed and prices have changed, Peter's been been able to help us a lot place in, in placement of these uh, risks around the U.S., our, our feedlots and our uh, livestock auctions. And, and a lot of our uh, cargo policies for our truckers as well. Peter, maybe you could address that. Talk about how uh, this has been a bit of a challenge. Well, I would say that the markets in uh, London uh, went through quite a, a rough period uh, and rates uh, increased quite dramatically. Uh, but in recent times, profitability has returned to the market and consequently capacity has come with it. So London now is in quite a good position where you know, if the higher limits are required, that we can obtain that capacity from the London market again. Well, Kevin, maybe you could address too, uh, current um, situation with cattle and what we're seeing, you know, uh, Scott Shelley, of course, covers that here on the Market Day Report uh, about the uh, cattle herd and the, the size of the herd, if you're hearing of anything as far as being rebuilt. Yeah, we, we are hearing about some of that. A lot of the heifers are being placed. Uh, some of our feedlot numbers have started to go down that we see in the feedlot. So that's usually the first sign the heifers are starting to be pulled back home. And the values of the cattle have been, it's, it takes a lot of dollars to cover these feedlots that we're working with. So it keeps us very aware when they slow down a little bit. But yeah, they, we're as we've been across the country the last uh, three weeks, we've seen a lot of country. It looks like there's a lot of heifers being saved back, hopefully. All right. Always great stuff. Peter, thank you. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully you'll get to the Cheyenne Frontier days. We'll get there in just a little bit. All right. Good luck. I think you're competing, right, Kevin? Are you, are you riding? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did get on a steer one time. One time. Won't do that again. One time. <laughs> <laughs> Safe travels, guys. Thank you, as always, for joining us. Kevin Charleston with Specialty Risk Insurance Agency and Peter Roberts with the Howden Specialty. Again, thank them both.